here at Grimsley High School. I'm going to talk quarterbacks in the 2026 class, Faison, Brandon. Faison, your recruiting process has really picked up since June of last year when you got that first offer from Eastern Carolina. Just yes, kind of take me through how you've handled all this. Up to 15 offers now, and they're continuing to kind of come in by the day. Um, yes, sir. I, I'm trying to handle this pretty well, just trying to build relationships with all the coaches. Um, it's pretty much just been a blessing having all these offers this early, and I try to just take it all in and keep on building relationships, seeing what what I like with coaching, and try to take notes and know what the, what I like and what I don't like, and what I try to learn from all talking to all these coaches. You hit the camp scene hard last summer, you yes, know, sir. looking looking to show what you have and you know, kind of what you've you know, showcased here at Grimsley over time. Did you ever think that it would get to this point? Did you did you have a feeling going in like it would get here, or did it just seem like, hey, I got to keep working and you know, we'll see what comes. Yes, sir, I definitely want to uh, keep working. I didn't know what to expect really uh, going into it, but uh, I guess, well, it was definitely like surprising, at, like all of everything that's been happening. One of those camps that you got to was Tennessee, and that yes, sir, that yeah. turned into your first SEC offer. They offered you there yes, on the field that day, you know, at, right after camp. Yes, sir. Um, you know, what did it mean at that point for them to? to be the first, you know, SEC school to have that belief in you and, and really have continued to prioritize you since. It, it meant a lot. You know, I went down there. I, I wasn't really expecting to get off. I was really expecting to just try to get my name out there. But uh, going out there and just competing and, um, like, doing good in the camp and getting an offer really meant a lot to me and really stood out to me from Tennessee. You were back over there three times during the oh, fall. Yeah. You know, had, you've had a chance to see all the game day atmospheres. You were just down there this past weekend for junior day. Take me through that visit. What was different about that one? Um, I, I finally was able to sit down and talk to the coaches, you know, about some offensive stuff and some player development. And they, they wasn't able to show me everything this um, visit, so I'll have something to look forward to the next visits. But, um, you know, that was definitely – Definitely a sign for me to be able to actually sit down and talk to them and have a full day of talking to them, you know, being able to play basketball and really see them, uh, be able to see them personally other than the game day experience. When you talk about that offense, what do you see from that offense? Um, I see that it's really built around the quarterback to me and that they, they do, the offense is basically of the quarterback strengths and they try to do what you do best, and that, that's, that's basically what I see. What do you like about Coach Halsley? How's that relationship continued to grow? Um, he, he seems very real with his quarterbacks and how he tried to keep the quarterback room not too just, like, interrogating and, and just keeps it open and to where it's very comfortable when you can talk to him, stuff like that. Obviously, you know, you go down there for the camp and you see that that day. And, and that's a different type of experience. And you're back for game day, and that's a different type of experience. But when you go down for that junior day, you get to see Coach Hopwell. You get to see all the coaches. You get to see Coach Hopwell in a different setting as well. You kind of yeah. get to see the, the ins and outs of his program and how he runs it more so. Like, what do you enjoy about Coach Hopwell, and you know, what are your overall thoughts on him? Um, how, how he puts it um, also adds the family to it. Since he's played college football, he knows about how, how much of not just me, but the family has been to it. And, and I, how that plays a big part in the recruiting. As you continue to go through this recruiting process, what's some of the feedback that you've heard about your game that has, has caught the attention of these college coaches? Um, I would say my, my arm talent, my arm talent definitely, and um, I would say how I can extend plays with my legs and with athleticism and, yeah, how that's a good part on – being able to extend plays whenever it's broken down to go get the first down if it's needed. 13 and 1 out here this oh, yeah. past fall. Stuff the stat sheet. As you continue to grow and your game continues to evolve, what what do you want to see improve the most about your game? I would definitely say anticipation on my, my throws and leadership. That, those are two main things that I want to work on going to the all season, the new season. And then finally, as you continue to attack the recruiting process you'll see some places in the spring I'm sure and then again in the summer what's important to you what are you looking for in a school where I can um, talk to the coaches you know and not not feel like I'm like too nervous to talk to them but I can just have a genuine relationship with them and I'm trying to work on building relationships this upcoming season so um, I'm definitely going to be visiting Alabama Texas and 
uh, who, who else would be? It's Alabama, UNC, uh, Texas A&M, Oklahoma. Those are the top schools I want to. In Tennessee, I definitely go back to Tennessee for spring practice. Okay. For sure. <clears throat> you heard it here from one of the top signal callers already in the 2026 class. And Faison, Brandon, Faison, thanks for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you.